yeah. Addictions, a very prominent Ooh. series turn you up, brother. channel. I've talked about video game and caffeine addiction, but today we're going to discuss them all. We're going to rank all the worst all addictions. The worst okay, addictions. let's see. And at S tier, it's going to go from the least concerning all the way at F tier, the, the most, most concerning. Oh, okay. And at it. the end of the video, we're going to crown an addiction the worst ever, and we're going to crown it the G tier. First up, we got on the list that I shittily made in five minutes. Let's shopping see. slash spending money. Now, a lot of people just nope, have the I got that addiction. Nah, me either. Together. I ain't gonna lie. I, I physically can't have this addiction. Well, I got that like, one. Next. I, I, even if I did, I don't think I would have this joint because it's just like, yo, bro, you need to save your cheese, bro. People that like impulsively spend bread, bro, like it's, it's getting really bad. And then they're the same people that be asking like, oh, yeah, but didn't I have... Didn't I have Freddy? But I, I swear I thought I saved. I'm like, yeah, but you mm -hmm. thought you saved. You did not actually, though. Your yep. actions was not getting put into words. That's really tough. Let's I ain't see lie. what's next, because that right. ain't me. Next. <laughs> Get a new designer bag. Even though the Michael oh, Kors bag is doing the job just perfectly fine. Exactly. And it can the plastic get to the point bag where people doing can the job put themselves in debt. Spend it on a credit card and are just completely irresponsible with their money. Sometimes I'm hauling nah, ass these to type of people stores. cannot get a I'll credit go to this card store and that store. Yeah. It's like a whole ass roadmap for the day. But most people will not get to the point where they're they're like overdrafting on their credit card. So we'll give it like a calm D tier. Social media. For this one, it all depends yeah. on what That might be an F tier now. Yeah. For consuming that in 20, I think in 2024, this might low key be an F tier because, like, yo, this is getting really bad to the point where everybody yeah. is addicted to clout and attention and all this type jazz. And I guess that's kind of hypocritical coming from us. I just got a YouTube, so I guess in all ways, if you're posting, you're looking some for some sort of attention. But like, there's some heads that just will not get off their phone or iPad know, or, or laptop. Like they're just on this boy get off all it. day. Like, and they, and they, all they're doing to do is posting and, and you know obviously get attention, get some clout. And it's like, dang, bro, like, dang, bro, what what they be saying? Yo, you gotta touch grass. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't even know if they know what grass look like. Mm -hmm. It be getting bad, but hey, you know, I feel it or lanky box or any like janky ass youtube kids video your brain cells are gonna be fried and if yeah, i'm brain right. consuming content i will literally feel tired for the entire day so with that you won't even be productive so we'll give it like a c tier it's obviously not that bad but it will definitely distract you mm -hmm. and it will distract 4.95 billion people if they consume too much and if they're not careful what they consume vaping there's nothing good that comes out of this the only thing well, i don't know yeah nah, vape, nah vaping is bad because it's like yo it, 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 i think in some cases it could be worse than actually smoking cigs because like you you inhaling uh metals and all that type of joint it could get real bad now granted you shouldn't smoke or vape i ain't gonna hold you bro like smoking smoking bogues is ridiculous like I, i'm a, i'm sorry that joint is crazy, bro. Y'all seen what it could do to your teeth, bro? I know everybody done seen them freaking Jones when they have the person come in at the assembly that be trying to tell you to not smoke or you're going to end up like them. I'm like, bro, like, yo, shout out them because they was really permitting me from doing that, John. I'm going to keep it a bug. It was working. But, like, bro, at the same time, they literally the example. You want you want to be like them, bro, talking out the crazy joint? They got in their throat? Nah, I'm cool. Like, they cool heads, mm -hmm. but I'm not trying to, like, be hating on them, but, like... Oh, no, they be you, telling you the truth. You, how you, happened? They'll, they'll look at you in your face and be like, yo, bro, you want to be like me? Nah, you don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so don't start smoking bows and junk, bro. Don't vape either, but, yeah. Nah, some heads... In, in 2024, yo, head, I be seeing heads with, like... Heads at, like, 11 years old with a vape. I'm like, how? Yeah. I'm like, how you even get this, John? Like, like, what? I'm like, the thing you'll get out of vaping is popcorn lungs and coughing. All right, people oh will God. just hit this thing repeatedly and just try to get a buzz every, like, two minutes. Sad. The dopamine release about to go crazy when you hit the Nicholas team, but it lasts, like, two seconds. Oh and God. it tastes like horse shit. And it looks like Ew. you're sucking on a dick. So we'll give it an F tier. Yeah. Along with yeah. the threats of Put vaping, there's a very cringe aesthetic around it. Like, for example, someone will just vape on their story. And I guess I'm supposed to be shivering in my boots. Oh, shiver me, Tim. Oh, my God, he's so guys. cool. I'm not letting my girl near him. Mute. Music. All right, this this John is on all day. Ah, music and addiction. You, yeah, that's what I was like. You, nah, I, I wouldn't call music an addiction. Like, if you like listening to music, you just like listening to music. I'm listening to music all the time, all the time. I ain't gonna lie. All right, so. maybe we gotta hear him out. Why he say addiction? Like, if we, music is addiction. How I about this? If we were to consider music an addiction, then I'm very addicted to music. I love music, bro. I'm dancing all the time and all that job. But yeah, yeah and I want to hear him out for me i have crazy hours on spotify is music an addiction i really have no clue but how i wouldn't say it is of these bangers but like, if it is oh then i'm very God. like i'm on a whole nother planet i'm floating i'm turning up music is just great s tier either. my body Facts. literally gets the chills when i'm floating to a song but i don't see any downsides to listening to music unless it's a distraction <laughs> right next we got caffeine your heart is literally yes. gonna pull up to your bedroom yeah and i ain't gonna lie you in your sleep yes you drink too much caffeine and the kidneys are gonna put you in a body bag 
like and throw you in the grave. Mm -hmm. Your kidneys it's like the heads I be drinking too much Red Bulls and, and Monsters and John, bro. It ain't so cool, fast. bro. This this ain't this John gonna really like it means. Lock in. But I don't know how people can have so much caffeine. If I pass one cup of coffee, I'm doing the jitters at my desk. Not so me. I'm going to sleep here for that. If you're overusing caffeine, you're just missing the point. So its purpose is just gone. Next we got elk. Or apple juice. Yeah, I don't see myself ever getting oh, yeah, nah, he's, alcohol he's talking, or apple juice. Nah, he's talking about alcohol. He he's saying the apple juice or whatever to be uh, uh you know, keep it within TOS or whatever. Okay. Yeah, now nah, elk, bro. If you addicted to elk, bro, that's just terrible. I'm gonna keep it a bean. That's that's yeah, definitely that's not tier. good. Like, bro, people that got like alcoholism, alcohol addiction, bro, that joke yeah, will spiral really you very yeah. out of control in your life, and you'll probably not end up a good person. I'm gonna be real. So like. Just to avoid that, I would suggest not getting addicted to alcohol. Also, most of the time, it tastes awful, yeah, bro. Yeah, it, it does. I always terrible. said that. I always said, oh, it that tastes nasty. Like, I always compare it to drinking, like, hand sanitizer because <laughs> that boy is disgusting. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Like, you may feel cool or whatever, but, like, bro, the, the taste. The taste. Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm, nope. I don't like the taste. To the I'm point cool. where I'm walking sideways, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll happily <laughs> pass on that because when I'm at a bar and I'm trying to get a girl's number, I'm going to be looking in the opposite direction. <laughs> exactly. Of the girl if I'm 10 beers and deep, then I'm gonna the headache at the wall. and next nah, thing, hangover is yeah, nah. addiction. This is at every frat party known to man. Some frat guy will come up to you and be like, yo, you want a brewski, dude? Like, they're serving this shit like it's at a restaurant, unless it's like BYOB. So I guess after you slam down <laughs> he your said, brewski, that mean, with frat no, guy, said, some man. random's gonna come up to you and start dapping you up like yo bro you're my homie man i love you man who the hell was that <laughs> yeah i'm like makes you loose with i'm like i'll be like mm -hmm. yo, bro, I, i'm not my full bit bro but i don't know who you is gang um yeah we're gonna need to get you a bottle of water though and look, look this way it's gonna have you too look. yeah nah nah you really will though you, you really <laughs> end up in somebody's trash can or something like that that's tough like i'm trying to tell y'all bro if y'all gonna drink at least let at least be somewhere safe most likely at home and uh don't drink too much bro because like at first like whenever you're at a party the vibe's awkward at first and then hours later everyone's <laughs> turning the hell up yeah like, people drink nice. responsibly and don't go over their limits yep. we'll give it like a c tier because some okay. people when you get around them they have too much it's just so annoying people will just be mad obnoxious but it will help you warm up at social functions because you don't want to be oh, that yeah. sober guy at the party trust me but drink responsibly mm -hmm. and don't be an idiot next we got the green g or that gas ah the mary jane and stupid oh. for just two hours they're the type to wake and bake they'll have it on them at all times and they'll be fried basically everywhere they go you don't want to have too much because you're going to be puking i know like, I friend, yeah now you're green like, and I, I can understand why people indulge, but I think, like, if you're doing this all day, that's when it's bad because it makes you, like, less productive. Like, that is just, that is something I know factually, bro. Like, you'll, you will not feel as productive on the gym, bro. Like, you're going to feel good or whatever, but, bro, you're not getting no work done, my Nothing. baby. I ain't going to hold you. So, yeah, like, only indulge when you have time that is free time. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't going to hold you. Other than that, hey, bro. Y y y but, like, hey, shoot, we can say this for everything, bro. But y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do, bro. Mm -hmm. The only one I really suggest is just, bro, out. We gotta stay cool with that, bro. Like, you literally torturing yourself. Like, like come on now. You feel me? But, like, yeah. <laughs> It's not fun. And sometimes you could have pretty bad trips, so we're gonna have to give it a D tier. Next up, we have eating. More specifically, yes. overeating Ooh, that, or junk that should be F. He, now, has look, al wait, he has elk over the junk? That's crazy, because if you, I think, wouldn't alcoholism be worse? I don't know. We're not even gonna compare He has it, it over now. what? He has it over the um over the Mary Jane or whatever. I, when when if you if you like if you think about it, if you have alcoholism versus like you are fully smoking all the time, both is bad. Like don't mm -hmm. get twisted. I'm not trying to say or gratify both, but like alcoholism, like constant alcoholism, where if you drinking like every day, now that's bad. That's terrible. Yeah. That's that's like bro, that should have been an F tier. That's yeah, all that should have been F. That should have yeah. definitely been F tier. I think eating should be. I think eating should be F too. A lot of people got eating disorders. Now overeating is an F because this is yeah. overall just gonna negatively impact you. Unless you're one of those people you go to the gym, you're trying to bulk, you know, where you put more like weight on your body so you could like shed it no, all. That that muscle. eating is that that's. Like if you just Scary. eating, 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 like on some eating disorder tip, bro. This is this yeah, this that, might be below F tier. This might yeah, be G tier. Yeah, I'm saying like, this is. I think like this overeating is probably like worse than a drug. It's just it's, it's just, just like, it just there's no positive. It's only negatives. Mm -hmm. Like there literally is only negatives. Like makes a whole batch of cookies in the oven. I'm bloating down there like I'm Drake, just sniffing the air like. Cookies and milk. Nah, it cookies do be it. Nah, I can't, I can't, I can't lie. I can't, I can't but yeah, after but I'm like, done eating the cookies, though, all the happiness, the joy I got away. from eating the cookies is gone because I feel like a tub of lard after. I feel mm -hmm. like I evolved from grimer to muck. And if I eat too much <laughs> junk food, like I'm literally just going to be on the couch lying there like... 
I'm literally just gonna feel like shit. But never should you get to the point what, where you're doing muck. What in dear yo? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? This because yeah. it's a mukbang and he gonna eat that. Yo. I what kind of? <laughs> this literally is a mukbang. The only thing I see between them two burger buns is mug. I This don't even look like actual food. Uh. Man, then what's this side of fr this side of fries is nothing in comparison to this burger, bro. I ain't gonna lie, now I want some fries, y'all. I it's think tough. he's exaggerating with that burger. Things like Nick Avocado, like nah. that shit is not healthy. <laughs> he wasn't Rose exaggerating, but he lost a lot of weight. Dangerous yeah. game. Some companies will add whatever they can to their food to taste good, so it can trigger that dopamine release, and mm -hmm. you can eat more and more. Junk food is good, but too much, it's not good for it's you. It's terrible. So we'll give it a B tier. Next we have wow. gambling, and gambling is just stupid. Ooh. It's literally just a waste of Ooh. money. Gambling is F tier for me because Ooh, I wow. literally like it, 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 the worst. The worst thing I hate about gambling is that they look you in the face and be like, "Yeah, the house always wins." That if you know this information, why are you still gambling? Like, yo, I'll be on this website, y'all. Again, I'll put y'all like a free cash. Yo, the heads, like, a lot of heads on there will, will do all this, grind all these games and apps to have money for steak. If y'all don't know what steak is, it's an online gambling site. And they'll go in and still go in the chat on free cash be like, yeah, bro, I just got, like, $100. Yo, I just blew it all. I only got 15 hours left. I'm like, bro, you knew you were going to lose. Like, some of them be acknowledging that they're going to lose. They're like, yeah, I'm doing all this to go to have more money for steak, even though I know I'm about to lose it all. I, I, I literally seen somebody say that literally last night. I'm like, bro. If you can acknowledge it, this is the worst because you are just fully on addicted. Like, you know this is mm. bad and you don't want to stop. Mm -hmm. That Again, gambling is scary. That's what I'm saying. Alcoholism. That's that all cause a lot of problems. That's what I'm saying. Alcoholism bad. Overeating is bad. Like, this is all below Gangeta to me. Like, this is just this is just terrible. Like, you have such a low percentage chance House of always is going to win, machine. bro. Like, they literally rigged the goddamn thing so the company makes the most amount they of money. They, of can. course they I have. I tried sports betting, and that shit went horrible, so don't do it. I thought I was an avid enough viewer of the NFL to the point where I thought, you know what? I could probably win. Nope. I got absolutely shit on. The odds are impossible, all right? They make you try to make you think that you're going to be the one to win that million. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah. All these machines <laughs> literally really statistically not. fuck you in the ass. And yeah. you could lose thousands of dollars mm -hmm. from People have lost so their entire lives. It's garbage. Like with See, shopping, it looks it's not empty money. You get stuff, but with this, no, nothing. Yeah. Working. Now a lot of people just like to take extra hours, which of course go. I would ahead. say this is a good addiction, but it's like the point it's where you're a, just a workaholic. I don't know anybody who just works and works and... for hours, no sleep, no food. Just grind. Yeah, you're just gonna burn yourself out doing yeah, this. Trust that's me. The and problem, you won't be able to stay consistent at your job because you're not doing a healthy amount. But if you are working a lot, it can be a good thing because you're like hella productive. We'll still give it an S tier. This addiction yeah. I would probably say it's will get addiction. you the furthest in life. If yeah. you're addicted to your work agree. practically and you love it so much, it can yeah, definitely get you places. <laughs> I just you gotta step like... away at some points. Love addiction. This no. is the one where you kind of F tier. F tier. My fault. My bad. Because because again. It's just like this, and this is the only thing I need to say. I'm not even going to see her and yap, be like, oh my God, throw it through the word. No. Literally like this. If you keep searching for love, you're not going to find the right type of love because you're literally searching for a specific type, John, which therefore means if you do find it, it's going to be in some type of toxic way. Mm -hmm. Bro, you need to be able to, you need to build, you need to build meaningful, for, uh, meaningful connections with people, especially romantically, because it's like that, that's how it's going to be the most genuine, and that's how it's going to last the longest time again and actually be genuine instead of toxic. That's all I have to say about that. So, love addiction, F tier, baby. That boy's going in F tier. I got to let it come naturally, bro. Instantly are just chasing a relationship. Because yep. you want to be like Drake getting all giddy when you see your girl. I guess that's BBL the feeling they're I'm cool. to is just that fresh relationship, the start. Their self-esteem just takes a massive hit when they're single. It's like they need to be in a relationship or else their self-confidence is going to be below sea level. But yeah, constantly being in and out of relationships and it's trying to chase girls mental, and trying to get them to love me back doesn't nah. sound very pleasant. And if you're out here chasing, bro, you're just going to be labeled as desperate. So mm -hmm. we're going to have to give it like a d tier like this could possibly it. Save it was you down here though no i was giving that f so no the hub Yeesh. oh it's i don't not know a what that is hub, uh, you know the oh that's websites. that thing yeah you told me a long time ago the adult websites yeah okay. if you addicted to this bro yeah that's i don't know good. man i ain't gonna lie it might be time to find some hobbies or something now <laughs> I don't know what to tell you because it, it, the problem is it's so easily accessible and easy for like as a dopamine release. I mean, clearly, <laughs> literally, but like, yo, it, it gets so easy to access these John to where it's like, I can understand why people have these addictions, but it's like, bro, we gotta, we gotta cut this dry. We might have to set, have, find something else to uh, fill up our free time or, you know what I'm saying? Things as such. Cause it ain't looking too, uh, your means, your mm -hmm. means, <laughs> it ain't looking too, ah.
Ah, I didn't like it too good. For reason. It's one of those unspeakable things people do in their rooms late at night, pitch black. And then they just sit there like a toad on a bench when they're done. Humming tin will literally oh, mess yeah. with the inner workings of your that's mind. That's called self uh, posting that clarity, which is like, where, where after, you know, obviously you go through the whole process, you sitting there like, dang. I'm really a loser. Type me. <laughs> or like, so it'll be like, dang. Y'all really not living the life I want to, bro. And I'm like, yo, that's that's really tough because that boy is the truth. I'm like, <laughs> we gonna let him be, though. I ain't gonna lie. Self-confidence is just gonna be cooked. You're basically Sneeko through the phone at that point. And you won't even be focused either. You'll be in class sitting there yo, thinking birdie? about the baddie you just saw in there last night. Let's just put it into perspective. You were to go to the gym. Get a crazy pump in before feel you me? go out on a date with this girl, or you go on Hubbington. Which scenario do you think you'll feel more confident in? There you go. And the if you're gym? saying Hubbington, definitely you're the coping. Hubbington. We're gonna have to give playing. this one a G tier. But the video is not yeah, over bad. yet. There could be another addiction that tops this one. That could be crowned the duck's worst addiction. Next, we have video games. It's kind of comparable to social uh, media. Where you spend uh, too much time on video games, your brain is gonna be cooked. Like, sure, your brain is being active while playing video games versus social media, but it's a I lot feel like for the if brain. you have me personally, and this is what I think it goes because it's all subjective of whatever we think. I think video games, you're fine, bro. If you want to play video games all day, that's that's cool, bro. But as long as you have everything else in life figured out, like yeah, see, like, no, that's the problem. Some don't. That no, no, I understand. No, that that's where my problem be at too. Like for instance, bro, if you play video games all day, bro, but we got bills that need to be paid, like yeah, uh, you we, we cutting those out. You know what I'm saying? We gotta make sure we have somewhere to live. But I'm talking about like yo, if you got everything settled off, like you financially stable, bro, you doing everything you are in your relationships, you cooling, like. Bro, if you want to play video games all day, like, yo, go ahead. Like, I keep telling everybody, bro, I just want, like, heads, heads want to be billionaires. Heads want to be the next Jeff Bezos. I'm like, bro, I want to be financially stable. And I'm trying to watch anime all day, gang. I keep it a buck. I keep it a buck fifty. But, but of course, I mean, not that I'm not doing that all right. <laughs> like, doing that already right now. But what I mean by that is, of course, like, I'm sitting here recording the videos, get them boys edited and all that. I always wait, like, you know what I'm saying? As long as you got everything else done and cool, bro, mm -hmm. do whatever you want. But unless that, them Jones is taken care of first, we do not need these. We do not need these. We're going to let these go for a little bit. No cap. Need to handle. And as long as you don't play for like, I don't know, 10 plus hours a day. Yeah, that's right. ridiculous. And the that's game ridiculous. consume you of rage. You're going to be good, right. of course. Like if you just play a few hours a day. It's a pretty <laughs> manageable addiction for most. <laughs> but you do have Discord mod Dannys out there that make video games their entire life. And they just sit there grinding every second of their life that they have towards the video game. And try to progress in terrible. any way that they can. I'll give it like a solid B tier because unlike social media you're like actively engaged you're communicating with people you're not just sitting there rotting in your bed so that puts it a step above okay social media i see why scrolling next up i don't mm. even know if this one's an addiction or if you could consider it an addiction but a lot of people say that they're addicted to hanging out with their friends there's like this mm. survey that revealed that 69 percent of the i don't know would, would you call it an addiction room no well you want what you just just want to hang out with your friends you don't want to do anything you don't want to go to work you know mm. Maybe How it's like... How can you even get it to be that you way? You have, like, an addiction of going out? Like, I don't know. But I, I don't know. See, I can't relate to this because I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, bro. I'm trying to go out as least as possible. I'm as, as minimal as possible because I feel like, yo... You can obviously go out and have fun and jump, but most of the time, sometimes, well, most, no, no, literally for me, most of the time I feel like I'm going out, we literally going out to do nothing. Like, I'm like, I'm like, all right, yeah, we outside, but we're not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're just, we're just sitting around outside just like we would sit out at home at the crib. Like, I'm like, yo, bro, we not... I don't know. I, I guess it could be considered an addiction because, like you said, if you want to go all the time, but you're not going to work or you're not going to like improve your you life, you just want to hang with way, your you, friends. Nah, like that's not nah that that's not good. But I don't know if I would call this an addiction though because yeah, mm. I never seen somebody like a like maybe they are addicted to going out and all that, but I never seen somebody specifically like addicted to going out with their friends. That's kind of that's kind of different. Yeah, so I wouldn't I'm gonna put that there respondents were addicted to their friends now i don't know if any of you in the comments could say that you're addicted to friends nah, or hanging out with them me or whatever. personally not. socializing with people is a human need and it releases dopamine and oxytocin and all this other shit that makes us happy so you know what i'm gonna have to give it an s here i'm proudly addicted to hanging out with my friends i don't give a fuck staying up late now this is not a crazy addict yeah i'm not addicted to this though see here's the problem i don't want to stay up till like five in the morning it's just like y'all got insomnia i can't do nothing i'm just like all right i'm trying i'm trying to go to sleep it's three i'm like all right all right we're gonna use the stare at the ceiling method okay it's been two hours i've been staring at the ceiling all right so we just not sleeping that's really tough i i don't know what to say y'all 
Because some people just like doing them all nighters. I don't mm-hmm. want to do that. I'm not trying to do an all nighter. As a matter of fact, yo, know, if there was a thing to tell me, yo, you gonna go to sleep at ten every night, that's me. I'm t- I'm taking that boy immediately because that means you gonna wake up in the morning, you gonna feel nice and rested, you gonna be productive the whole day. I'm cooling, nah, bro. I'm going to sleep at three a.m. and I'm waking up at twelve, bro. And that's that's hoping I wake up at twelve. Sometimes I might wake up at one, two. I'm like, bro, this is bad, bro. This ain't good, bro. Nah, bro. But yeah, nah, some people are dead just addicted to uh, staying up all night, which is not good. They need to break mm-hmm. this habit, bro. Like, Addiction real rap. by any means. But I don't know. Just something is just so peaceful about staying up late. It's just so quiet. That is true, though. I can independently do leisure It's not activities. quiet in my job, bro. It's the late night my, rocking in my general. My video is booming. I go with you, bro. It definitely is. It's and turning in bed. Be loud. Not being able to fall asleep. So sometimes I'll yeah. wake up out of my slumber and go do some leisure activities or get some work done. Start cooking up some hot ass in the studio. Whatever it is. Whatever. I feel like that's what I need to start doing though. Cause you be rapping, that's coming down saying. rapping, doing your rhyme. That's what I'm saying. I ain't gonna hold you, yo. Shout out to Troop Boy, Magic Trill. They didn't even know what it is. But like, yo, that's me. Sometimes I'll come down here and I'm like, all right, I'm about to go work on some music or some joint. Then you know, I'm saying get a little tired. I'm like, all right, bet now I'm about to sleep. Or I better yet, what I need to start doing, yo, for y'all that know that got a personal joint, I need to come down here and just record some videos and start laughing at them joints, bro. Ah oh, man, there's a lot of terrible videos out there that need to be watched. <laughs> but yeah, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. Y'all try to get y'all sleep if you can, bro. That joint is really important. You need to get that eight hours, especially you know, if you're going it's to like school. It's like you're in your own yeah. world. You don't have to follow anyone's schedule or nothing for the few hours that you have. And no matter how many yeah, times you say anyone's schedule or Yo, how did Patrick nothing? write on this paper with nothing behind it? I, 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 this is a question that really need to be He's asked. He's writing on the sand, right? No, no, my he holding this in the air because he got uh, he got it in his hand. Nah, bro, we just we we, we just gonna uh, pretend we never saw this for the um, few hours that you have. And no matter how many times I say it, oh, I'm gonna go to bed early. Never, happens. never happens. That's <laughs> never happened. We'll give it like a C tier. Kind of depends what you do when you stay up late. Hardcore True. drugs. Okay, that was a crazy plot twist. Uh, expensive. Um, what's that's below? F- in your life. E E F G A A H yeah, tier. Yeah, if you if you doing opiates and and you doing like uh the the, the out, out the pipe. Mm-hmm. And all that, yeah, bro. Like you're cooked. I I don't know why. This is this is not even. This shouldn't even be on the list because this is an obvious. Like if you're doing yeah. this, bro, it's bad, bro. So yeah, H tier for this. They're super addictive, and some people will literally live in cardboard boxes for these things. All right, mm-hmm. this is probably gonna be G tier. Duck's worst addiction. Crown it right now. I'm not messing with that shit ever. But one thing that I will mess with and that you should become addicted to is watching the duck. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I'm shout kidding. out, <laughs> shout out the duck. Addicted. Hang on, uh... watch this video right here. Become addicted to me. Nah, Pause. that sounded terrible. I ain't gonna lie, it's me though. It's like, nah, no, me chill. But hey, y'all, that was every addiction rank the duck. And honestly, a very, but I, I really like this video. I like the mm-hmm. ranking like video because duck. it allows you to give your conjecture. Like, like for every single one, yo, we really mm-hmm. had something to say about this boy because it's true. Like some of these addictions, some of these addictions is worse than others, bro. Not to like, I'll be comparing bad. Oh, I bad see some jokes. videos we need to do. Oh, for sure. You're the right TikTok now. slang. Oh my God, no, not the Riz. We got to do that. Kill myself. <laughs> oh my like, God, I already so it. I can learn and go Edgy, to school and be like, ah, yeah, man, stop yapping up in here. Yap. Okay, quiet. Level Your level. Brain rot. Level stop yapping. Uh, called level eight yet. Level eight yet. Oh, it's so cringe. I want to kill myself so bad. Oh Dude, my God. Do you God. not say that? What's up? Let's say that freeze gonna level? get canceled. What you mean? Is what do you mean? That you would kill yourself. Oh yeah, nah. I'm not gonna actually do it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't be playing around with suicide and John. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. If you are, I don't if you feel it, speech, but some people, these people out here don't know how to thoughts, take that. Please go talk to someone you know that will actually care what you have to say. But we got is that by the duck? Yeah, it we gotta do every TikTok slang. We gotta do that one. Minutes. Oh, oh, that's long. We can't do that one. That's this, too long. This boy gonna be like two hours. What I'm about the Gen Z nostalgia? That joke got me crying. I ain't gonna lie, you know, you know we're gonna check out more of the Doug's videos. Shout out to Doug. If y'all yes. wanna watch more videos like his, and more videos like this. He got some good like, topic. Y'all go subscribe to him too. I ain't gonna lie. He deserve it, bro. He, he really put in work on this joint. But yo, y'all, like I said, we at the end of this video. Mom, what they got doing this, bro? Hit that yes, thumbs man. up button. Okay, comment. Which one? Oh, no. <laughs> I hope you don't have none of them. <laughs> you got a few. But I hope you ain't got right. none of them, okay? All right. And got a few. Oh you got a few. <laughs> Yo, eating, stand up. No, eating, stop playing. Bro. I'm only a little <laughs> like fat. E, I'm only a little stay fat. Up. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Only a little fat. Y'all can see video you know, games. Dog. Okay, you can't do that on <laughs> yeah. video. What you mean? Now anyway, you're not gonna get you gonna, Yo, you you gonna put um, other be having. um, what do you call? What do you call that? Exclaimer. Yeah, you gonna put that on there. Disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. Whatever. On this. Yeah. For what? 
Anyway, yeah, I'm well, I'm up to a oh, comment. Like, oh, don't forget to subscribe. Oh my god, you get me confused. Subscribe, subscribe and then turn on that. Post notification bell so every time I get us family. Post a new video, I will be fresh, hot, spicy, fiery, and always in your feed. Ah, they know what it is. I'm a attaboy trill. Y'all make sure you don't get too crazily addicted, especially to so many Jones on a slip, yeah. bro. Oh my god. Please do not. And we're okay. going to catch y'all later. No cap. Peace. Peace.